Linux is an extremely flexible operating system that can be used and stylized in many different ways. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make it look and feel like Windows. If you want an easy out of the box solution, then you've got distributions like Zorin OS, Ferran OS, or this one that I haven't actually tried is Windows FX Plasma. But if you want to do it by hand, then I think you'll get the best to look with the KDE Plasma desktop. So I'll be looking at distributions like Kubuntu, KD Neon, OpenSUSE, and while I would have said Manjaro KDE, there's some packages that I don't actually think are available for Arch, although if they are, I do apologise. I have a copy of Kubuntu 2010, which I've installed in a virtual machine. This is the latest production release version at time of recording, but I'm sure we can do the same thing with whatever version there is in the future. So I'm going to start with going into the system settings, although if it's not available there straight away, then we can do a search for it. So search for settings and go across the global theme. I'm going to get a new global theme and we want one called Win10 OS. Win10 OS, all one word. Links to these items that we need in the video description. So I'm going to install this theme. I'll just then close and select the new theme here, but I'm going to use the desktop layout from the theme. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be trashing my existing desktop layout. For some reason, the wallpaper disappears here, but yeah, right click on the desktop, so configure desktop, and I select that wallpaper there. So with that little theming, we're part of the way there. But that's not it yet. We, we've still got a little bit further to go to make this feel more like Windows. Oh, we need to select a different mouse cursor as well. Yeah, select the Win 10 OS cursors. But as far as the icons go, I don't think these icons work very well. They're incomplete. So I'm going to go back to the Breeze Dark selection of icons. Right, that should be it as far as the settings go. So I minimize that. Now I'm going to right click on the panel at the bottom of the screen, select Edit, and then Add Widgets. And I want to get new widgets, so I want to download some more widgets. Yeah, download new Plasma widgets. And the two that we want are a new menu called the Tiled Menu. And then we want the Present Windows button. So Present, yeah, Present Windows button. Both of these are from a developer called Zren. So I've installed both of those. I'll close that and go back to the Add Widgets. And the only one I actually want to add is the present windows button because I can change the menu in a moment. So yeah, present windows button. So just drag and drop that down there. Right, and then I want a search function. So I'm gonna select the search button there or select that icon that says search. Drag that down to there as well. So that's as far as I'm gonna go with the adding of new widgets. Now right click on the menu on the bottom left hand side and we're going to go for show alternatives. Now select the tiled menu. Now I want to right click on the running applications. I'm going to go for, nope, actually not quite there, select on the empty space next to the current applications. So go for show alternatives and we want the icon only task manager. So I'll switch to that. Well, one thing we should do is make that panel a little bit bigger. I'll make it a little bit more like Windows 10. So just go for editing it again, and we're gonna adjust the height slightly. So yeah, I think something a little bit like that. I want to show the date under the time. Now, some versions of the Plasma desktop do actually have this enabled by default. So you might be able to skip this step. You want to go for configuring the digital clock. Under Appearance, select Show Date and Apply. So pretty close. Oh uh, yeah, I want to use the default tile layout and then add a new tile. So we're going to add a preset. I, I just want to show how this is done. So adding a preset, I'm going to select Gmail. And you can see you've got an internet address you can use, a uh, label, and you can choose background color. Not so sure about that background color they've gone for. Let's go for something a little bit um, brighter. Yeah, maybe that. If you want to add additional applications, then you just select them and drag them across. So and that's how you can use the tiled menu. So I think with that, we're most of the way there. 
but there's some default applications we could do with. How about having PowerShell for Terminal, Edge Browser, and you can even have Microsoft Teams. Edge isn't actually released at time of recording, but I've tried it out already and it does work. So I'm going to download a version of it here. So download package. So for Kubuntu KD Neon, I'll select the dev package. For OpenSUSE, it would be the RPM package. And this is why I shied away from using the Arch based distribution because I don't know which package you would take there. Because neither of those are its default package management. But anyway, I'll save that. And I'm going to get Teams for Linux as well. Yeah, download for desktop and yet yeah, again we've got the choice of deb or rpm package so i'm going to take deb package here save that and that's it for those packages now to go to the terminal unfortunately we're going to have to do a couple of things in the linux terminal here as much as i would hate this and want to use an alternative no we're going to have to do this here so powershell i can install it via sudo snap install and we're going to have to use the classic method here, which I don't particularly like because that does actually reduce the sandboxing effects of snaps. But anyway, that's a whole other subject. If you do it without classic, the snap will actually fail to install. So, yeah, this is what we're going to have to do. So, sudo snap install classic PowerShell. Now I'm going to go across to my downloads folder. So that's cd tilde forward slash downloads. You can press tab tool to complete. I'm going to install these packages I've just downloaded. Although I could actually install them via the GUI. So let's go Dolphin. And I've got an option of either double clicking it to try to install. Although one time I did this when I was testing, it said the dependencies were missing and didn't continue, which isn't very helpful. But if you use DPKG, then you've got more chance of getting the dependencies sorted. I don't know why. It shouldn't be that case. Yeah, error cannot satisfy dependencies. So it's still that way, but yeah. But if we do sudo dpkg-i, and then just gonna press tab here so I get the file name. Yeah, that's all I want. Microsoft, start typing it, press tab. And this will install Edge Browser without uh, being awkward. And the same again for Teams. So that's those two packages installed. Now I'm gonna set PowerShell as a default terminal. But we need to know where it is. Where are you, PowerShell? Well, I know I can just do PowerShell and that works, but I need to know where you are. Let's get out of that with Control D. Yeah. Anyway, I want which PowerShell. So that is where PowerShell is located. So I'm going to copy that there. It's Control Shift and C. And then go to Settings, Switch Profile, oh, sorry, Manage Profiles. I just need a new profile, uh, yet new profile, this will be the default, and I want the commands to be forward slash snap slash bin slash PowerShell. So apply that, the set as default, okay, and if I close console and then reopen it, well, I can reopen it by finding terminal, ooh, that's no good is it? I think I can see what's happened here. I'll just go and edit that and I think I end up with an extra space there, which shouldn't have happened. So let's try that again. So apply that and then close and reopen it. Console, there you go. I just had an extra space at the end that shouldn't have been there. So that is PowerShell there with the Edge browser. And we have Microsoft Teams. And better yet, we have Windows splash screen there. <laughs> so that's how you can stylize Linux to look and feel like Windows 10. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.